There's a place called Dark Corner up on the South Carolina, North Carolina border. Some of you might have heard of it, some of you might not. But North Carolina and South Carolina, and especially northern South Carolina, is the, they're prone to ice storms where they, you get ice on the trees this big around on some of the limbs. Some of the limbs would fall off, some of the limbs wouldn't. Well, you see, what would happen, or what does happen at Dark Corner up on the border is uh, when the ice melts off the limbs of the trees, the kids come out with their buckets. And the women come out with their pails. And all the highly testosterone men will come out with their pickup trucks. <laughs> with tarpaulins in the back. And they'll put them up against those trees and they'll watch that water as it falls into those buckets. And then they take it up to a place called Dark Corn. They take that water and they make some of the best drinking whiskey that you'll ever have in your life. If you've ever been up there and you've ever asked about dark <coughs> I once stopped at a Spartanburg Peach um, place in uh, Spartanburg and I asked him where I get to dark corner. Right? You get this look from this old woman. Look, she looked to be in her 90s and you got this thousand yard stare. And she looked at you and she said, well, it ain't around here, is it? <laughs> so you need to keep going. And I kept going until I found it. Until I found the people that were all about it. I met this old man who must have been 94, 95 years old, and he told me a story about his brother who, you see, they weren't called revenueers back in those old days, back in the turn of the centuries. They weren't called revenueers, they were called federals. <laughs> Think about that. Revenue came from the shoes that they were wearing because. They were called revenueers because your own tax dollars bought the clothes that they wore. So they were called revenueers because of the shoes. But their real name was Federals. So the old man told me about a Federal, two Federals coming up to his house one afternoon, his brother's house. All the way up to his brother's house, they were on two horses. They, they hitched their horses up to his brother's house and they started down the side of the mountain and then within 10 minutes you could hear the cracking of rifles. It sounded more like tree limbs cracking than it did rifles. And then another 10 minutes later came up one of the Federals walking up and he said, your brother has killed my partner. I think he's dead. Your brother has killed my partner. I think he's dead. I see you have a mule and a wagon. Would you mind if I took the mule in the wagon down and took my partner back down to Greenville to the hospital there because I think he's I think he's dead. If we can't take him to the hospital, can we take him to the martyr? And the old man said, Is it just one of them? One of them that's dead? He said, yes, it was my partner. He did. <laughs> the old man said, 
Well, no, I ain't going to do it for one. Now, if you had a whole bunch of them, I would uh, let you have the wagon. <laughs> I love these people. I loved them with all of my heart. They were me. You see, back at the turn of the century, people wanted the government out of their business just like they do now. But we're not very brave people now, are we? We don't do brave anymore. We just don't do brave anymore. We don't do keeping the government out of our business anymore, do we? We roll over and we play dead. Anyway, I got to looking around while I was up there and I found out this business and I found these uh, Pentecostal preachers. <laughs> These Pentecostal preachers who would preach all day long with rattlesnakes in their hands, four or five rattlesnakes <coughs> in each hand. And they would all be drinking a quart jar of dark corn. You know, you have to get yourself some courage if you want to say no. So, be drinking this dark corn out of these quart jars. And see what I figured out was this. Once you start looking around these churches, these Pentecostal churches, you'll find that every church has a refrigerator in it because on almost every Sunday there's some kind of do going on there you know, with those deviled eggs and things like that. <laughs> coleslaw, barbecue. But in the back of these churches you find these refrigerators. And so I started looking in around in the back of these churches and when I looked around enough I found these wash tubs full of rattlesnakes in these uh, refrigerators. Well the thing you know, most of you might not know about rattlesnakes is if you keep them cool enough they go into a coma. They won't bite you. If you cool them down enough, they, you, can, you can play with them, you can, you can preach with them, you can, you can speak in tongues. <laughs> and then it was cool. I had the greatest time. That man, that Sunday afternoon, it was, it was, this is was one of my, my favorite moments. But except for the second Sunday afternoon, where I had the pleasure of seeing one of the rattlesnakes warm up. <laughs> Bit the old boy twice in the face. Bam, bam. So I called home and said, I'm going to be about three days late because I'm going to go to this guy's funeral. <laughs> it's one of the greatest moments of, well, second greatest moments. Mm. You see, you can't have people lie to you. We're all carnies, aren't we? We're all broken down showgirls. No matter what we're selling. We're just broken down showgirls. I'll play this song here off the new record called Dark Corner Ice Water. You know, at the end of the song, you're going to hear a line about a guy named Harlan Joy, who's had the same radio show for how many years now? 40, 43, 47 years? 44 yeah. <coughs> yes. Atlanta Free, at, uh, Atlanta Free, uh, Georgia Free Radio, he's radio. had the same show. He's a great friend of mine. If you ever get a chance, pull him up on your computer on 7 o'clock. On Sunday night, Georgia time. Play this song here. This one will get you.
I saw Billy Jim Pruitt shoot that Georgia boy. Everybody called him Shoes, but his last name was McElroy. I saw Billy walk over to the Georgia boy's wife. I ain't sorry for what I did. Hell, he was proud of the revenue shoes. I'm proud for what I did. You better run and tell your kids, girl. You better run and tell your kid How he was proud of them revenue shoes I'm proud for what I did Dark corner ice water Wash clean my very soul You better run up Highway 11, girl Better catch it before it's gone Maybe north on 25 Maybe north on 25 It tastes like Spartanburg peaches It tastes like The wisdom of the poor Suffering little blind girls Them snake handling preachers Want some more of them kisses Tastes like Spartan bird peaches Now when I got home from Henry's She was sitting on the porch She had a half a pint of dark corner with her boys And she was chewing on the cork And she said Get yourself dressed up my son And you start heading toward the McElroy's Because I got this ham And these biscuits and these sweet potato pies for his wife and his boys. Dark corner ice water wash clean my very soul. Better run up Highway 11. Better run up highway love Better catch it for it's gone Maybe north on 25 Tastes like Spartanburg peaches, see? It tastes like the wisdom of the poor. Suffering little blind girls. Them snake handling preachers want some more oh, of them kisses.
tastes like Spartan bed peaches. <coughs> you want some more of them kisses? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. But before you leave, my son, can't you see if you can't get that radio going? See if you can't dial up Harlan Joy, son. See if you can't dial up Harlan Joy for me. One. See if you can't get him dialed up, son. See if you can't get it going, son. See if you can't get him dialed up, son. Hard. Just one more time. Thanks, y'all.